Hey everybody, it's Evelyn, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make gifts in Adobe Photoshop CS5, the 64-bit version. Now I know I did have a video before, but I did delete it, so I'm actually remaking it. So let's get started. So of course, when you go and you have Photoshop open, you're gonna to want to go ahead and go to File. But usually we will go to Import and Video Frame Search, but it's not supported by 64-bit version. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and click Open. Now once you have it open, you're going to go ahead and select the video that you have. I'm going to use um, teaser for Park Kyung's from Block B for their comeback. And I'm going to click open and it's actually going to open the video in Photoshop. Now you're going to want to go to Windows and click Animation. And then your animation is kind of going to appear. I'm actually going to go to my GIF workspace to make it much easier to navigate for me. So now once your video is opened in Photoshop, we're going to have an animation timeline, which is this here. Now, this is what we're going to use to select the piece of video we want to make our GIF out of. So, we have um, simple things. We have the zero timeline, which is um, the playback of the video, the time. We have our current time indicator, which is what we're going to use to uh, select the part of the video. Now you're going to move it to a spot the video that you want to um, make your GIF out of. So I'm going to go ahead and just go. I'm going to do this part here. So I'm going to select like a little bit before the video. So, and I'm going to drag over the blue bracket, the left blue bracket, which is work area and start. I'm going to click and drag it to the red line of the GIF here. Now I'm going to move the current time indicator again just to the end of his little shimmy here. Right about there. Then bring over the um, right blue bracket which is work area end. And then we have this little selection here. Now I can press play and it will play my selection for me. Okay, so once you're done that, you're going to go here to the drop down menu and you're going to click flatten frames into layers. And it's going to make our frames for us. And we have a few. So I'm going to open my layers. Like so. Now that you have that done, you're going to click the drop down menu again. And I'm going to click and convert to frame animation. This is going to say this will convert timeline frame animation and video layers from the long will not play back and frame animation. You're just going to click continue and that's fine. So now we have this. You're going to go to your uh, layers and you're going to delete the one that says layer 1 because it's the actual video itself and we don't need that. So once that's done, you're going to see how many layers you have. I have a few. On the animations frames, you're going to go ahead and click make frames from layers so we're going to have about 26 frames and we're going to delete the first one again because it's the lady sitting there watching Kyung and so we have about 25 frames now we're going to want to cut that into um, two and so what we're going to do is we're going to do we're going to do a click every other uh, frame method going to hold the control on my keyboard and click one frame and then click every other frame after that. This is going to allow me to um, lower my frame size but actually I'm um, keeping the playback um, kind of in sync. So I'm going to make more frames for layers again. So like so and I have about 10 which is great. So now that I play it it's actually going to move a bit fast and funny. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and slow down the playback. So we're going to click animation 1, holding shift, click your last frame, and on the drop down menu of any frame, it will say 0 second, a little black arrow, you're going to click other, and we're going to change it to 0 0.15. You can change it to whatever you feel like it. You don't exactly have to copy my settings. It's to whatever you um, feel like it. Now I'm gonna Im I'm gonna resize my image. I'm gonna go to image and click image size. I'm gonna do 500 by 281, which is like um 
a default. Like if you change 500, the height will be at 281. So now that I'm going to have that, I'm going to play it one more time. And it actually is a bit slow, so I'm going to change the timeline to something else. I'm going to lower it to like maybe 8 seconds, 0.8 seconds. And that seems more like it. But as you can see, at the end, he stops. So you're going to want to go ahead and under frame 1, you're going to see the word once. If you're just stop, you're going to click it and click forever. This is going to make sure that wherever our GIF is at, like if we upload it to Tumblr or onto a website or use it as a signature or an icon or whatever, um, the image will forever loop. So clicking play again, you can see that it loops forever. Now that you have it done, you can go ahead and um, sharpen your image if you must or if you have to. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to click um, the first frame and when I do that, the eyeball of the layer that uh, matches the frame will be clicked and I'm going to go to filter and I'm going to go to sharpen and I'm going to say smart sharpen. And I'm going to want to sharpen it a lot. So I'm going to kind of mess with my um, pixels and radius. I'll take that to 500. I'm going to lower it to like 3. And I'll click OK. And I'm just going to click the second one. The second one and Control F to repeat the sharpening. I'm having to go to filter and sharpen. Over and over again. Okay, so now that my image is fully sharpened, I went ahead and paused and finished it. And you can play back and it looks actually great. So now you can add coloring if you want. I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave it as is. And we're going to save. So we're going to go to file. I'm going to click save for web and devices. And this is going to load up the uh, save dialog box, which is, it loads. It takes a minute to come and appear. So now that it's here, we can go ahead and um, click the presets to GIF at 128 other, and then um, we're going to check your file size here. Mine's at 8, um, 864K, which um, the Tumblr limits 10 MB, or 10 megabytes, I believe. So I'm just going to leave it at this, I'm going to click save. I'm going to actually save it in my um, documents. Oh, no, I'm going to save that to my desktop. I'm just going to name it Kyung. And then I'm going to go ahead and close my folders. I'm going to bring up my internet. And I'm going to go ahead and drag Kyung's image onto the internet browser. And then it's going to show you how it will play. And it looks really good. And there you go. I hope you guys like this tutorial. I know I meant to um, make it a while ago, but I just took forever to do it. But yeah, so again, I hope you guys like this. And don't forget to comment and subscribe. If you have any questions, um, just email, um, PM me, or leave a comment in the down box below, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So enjoy. Bye, guys.